Hi you guys, so today I am in a massive rush. I just dropped my kids off at school a little while ago and I have about 40 minutes to get completely ready and out the door for the day because one of my kids has a doctor's appointment so I have to run to school, pick them up, go and do all that. So I'm in a major time crunch. So I still need to film for you guys today. So today I'm doing a 10 minute get ready with me makeup routine. Now this may take more than 10 minutes. I haven't speed tested it, but this is how I get ready when I need to get ready really fast. First up, I have um, my skincare done. I have moisturizer on. I'm going to completely skip primer. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. I'm just going to dot this all over. And there's no particular uh, method of my madness. I just kind of pop it on there. I don't use Beauty Blender for my foundation when I'm in a rush. I use my e.l.f. Um, foundation brush, this little like football-y shape brush. I love this. This blends out foundation without streaking. It goes really, really fast. And um, what was the other thing? There's one more thing I loved about this. Crap, oh yeah. And it also works really, really well um, on full coverage foundations, on BB creams, pretty much any foundation I've tried it with, this works amazing. He has wet hair. All right, next for concealer, I'm grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape in light. You know I love this stuff. And I'm just popping a little bit underneath my eyes and a small amount down my nose and right there. I don't need a ton of concealing, thankfully, because my skin is cooperating. And for my concealer, I am using the Beauty Blender Micro Mini. This isn't the best thing for blending out concealer on the rest of your face, but it works well for underneath my eyes. So I just wish it was a smidgen more dense. It's less dense to me than the original Beauty Blender and it actually makes it harder to work with. Now if you don't have this or it starts annoying you because it's not working fast enough, just use your fingers to blend in your concealer. I'm also going to put whatever is left over on my fingers, on my eyelids. Oh, and if I'm making weird faces, guys, it's because my nose is itching like crazy. I took my allergy meds this morning, but the ragweed pollen where I live is so freaking bad. And the roads I take to my kids to school is aligned with ragweed. And I don't have a super duper fancy air filter in my car. So... Yeah, not doing too hot this morning. So to set that, I'm using my NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. And I'm just setting my nose, the inner half of my eye. I noticed that if I set the outer half, it gets a little too crepey. I'm going to take this and just go over my whole eyelid area with it. That way that area is prepped and ready for um, shadow. And anywhere where my foundation tends to wear off during the day or I get shiny. There we go. All right, next up is blush. I do recommend skipping contour if you're in a hurry. And this is the Amazonian Clay Blush in Entertain. And I'm just popping this right on the apples of my cheeks and drawing it back a little bit. Don't be afraid to go a little bit heavier on the blush, even on a natural look, because it does help make you look healthier in general. So I am doing a highlight and I'm going in with my Smashbox um, Pearl Palette and I am using the shade Turn It On, which is the, I guess, most natural highlight, though this is still a really strong highlight. I really, really love highlighting, even when I'm not doing contouring. 
just to add a little bit more glow if I'm using matte foundation. And this highlight blends so well and with your skin that it looks natural. So my face is pretty much done. Next I need to do my brows and this is probably going to kill me on the 10 minutes. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and just the e.l.f. eyebrow brush. Now, if I only have like five minutes and absolutely no freaking time, but I still want to look put together, I will at a minimum do my brows and some mascara because my brows and my eyelashes are so, so light that just doing those two actually makes me look more polished, if that makes sense. Will my phone stop beeping and going off like mad this morning? Oh my goodness. Like, guys, it just turned 9 a.m. Like, no one should be awake right now, in my opinion. I shouldn't be awake right now, in my opinion. Um, I actually got a decent amount of sleep last night, though, so that's really good. I always screw up my brows when I try to rush doing them. Always, always, always. All right, and I'm just going to go through those real quick just because they're still like a little bit patchy with the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 03 Soft Brownie Brows. All right, next I'm moving on to the eyes and I'm totally skipping eye primer since we already did our concealer on there. And I'm grabbing a Real Technique shader brush and I'm going into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is one of my very favorites for a very fast, neutral look. And first I am going in with the shade White Chocolate and I'm just going to pop that underneath my brow bone. Yes, I'm using a big brush for this, but that's fine because this is a very, very matte shade. In fact, in my opinion, it's one of the prettiest matte cream shades for underneath your brows. And I'm also going to pop this in my inner corner. I don't want a like highlighty highlight today. I just want that area brightened a bit and this is perfect for that. All right, taking that exact same brush, I'm going into the other shade we're using and this is Milk Chocolate. Any nice neutral brown shade, like a medium neutral brown will work perfect for this. So I am just patting this all over the lid and bring it up into the crease. Don't worry about it being super neat. We're actually going to grab a clean blending brush and just fluff that out a little bit. And the same on the other side. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. You can go as detailed on your eyes as you want. If you don't feel like you need to do foundation that day, you can just do eye makeup, but I find that when I'm really in a hurry, a look like this is the fastest and also the hardest to screw up. Now, I just want a bit, tiny bit more color on my eyes, I decided, so I'm going in with the shade Nectar on that blending brush and just adding that right at the top of that brown. Don't be afraid to add lighter colors into your crease area or above your crease after you've already added dark shadows. So many people are like terrified and think, oh, I can't go back in with a light shadow now. No, you absolutely can. In fact, it really helps with blending and can just help smooth the look out. Of course, this is not the best blending job in the world by far because I am in a hurry, but using good shadows and good doesn't necessarily mean high-end, it just means whatever works the best for you. And um, 
just going with neutrals can really help speed up the process. I'm also going to take a small pencil brush and go back into melted chocolate and just run a small amount of that underneath my eye, just on the outer half. Because I don't use Bond Mascara a lot, I like to add a little bit of color underneath my lash line to really help make my eyes stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. This for me is an absolute non-negotiable step because if I don't, my lashes just hang straight down and that doesn't work for me. All right, so today I'm using two mascaras. I know that's insane, but I'm using Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Waterproof. Um, the main reason I'm using two is because whenever I use a waterproof mascara, the oils on my eyelids tend to make it smear right underneath my brow bone. So anytime I want to use a waterproof, I actually have to top it with a not waterproof. I use the waterproof to help keep my lashes curled. And I'm actually going in topping that with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I'm still trying this out and deciding what I think of it. I really like the brush, but I'm not sure if I love the formula or not yet. Okay, it's going a little bit spidery and clumpy compared to how I usually like my mascara, so I'm a little eh on that, but this combo is giving me a ton of volume, though. All right, so I definitely would not recommend this combo if you don't like the lashes that look clumpy. Not like they're clumping together, but they have little balls of mascara on the lashes. I kind of hate that. I don't know which mascara was causing it. I think it was the It Cosmetics. So I'm not a big fan of this combo in particular, but I have to admit, it does make my lashes look really good from a distance. Like, I can really see them pop on the camera, but they don't look natural close up. All right, guys, and to finish off this look, I'm using my Wet n Wild Liquid Cap Suit Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. I love this particular line for a quick and easy to apply liquid lip that is actually going to last for hours. All right, guys, and here's the finished look. It probably only took about 10 minutes. If you take away all the extra time that is spent by me pausing in between and talking to the camera. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little get ready with me 10 minute makeup routine. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. I am pretty much everywhere and all the links for those are down below. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you again very very soon. Bye!